Not one single so-called cage has been constructed by the Trump administration. Not one. During the presidency of Barack Obama, we didn't see outrage from the Democrats then. We didn't see prominent Democrat members of Congress condemning the, quote, concentration camps and, quote, torture then. Again, President Trump has not built a single cage. The cages you see in the news and on Twitter were constructed by President Obama's administration. Do you ever get the feeling that no matter how often or how effectively we call out the DNC's deceptions, the media will always be there to run cover for them? This is one of those instances where I feel almost helpless to combat the misinformation. As anybody who watches this channel knows, the claims of concentration camps and kids in cages is pure propaganda. Before we get to that, I want to take a quick moment and give a shout out to Boar Creek Ranch. This is a family owned and operated ranch that provides Russian wild boar hunts. If you're interested in a thrilling yet affordable adventure, check this place out. Visit their site or contact them at 940-765-1972. If you want me to give a shout out to your website or social media channel, simply make a purchase at ribtcom forward slash drone tech and use the promo code drone tech. Email me proof of purchase and I'll give you a shout out. Thank you. Back to the DNC media propaganda. We know that this is propaganda because during the eight years of the Obama administration, all of these conditions existed and they were arguably worse because more people were coming across the border between 2014 and 2016. I've pointed it out before, but if you go and do a search and you refine your parameters to between 2013 and 2015, what you're going to find are a bunch of articles about overcrowding at the borders, but without any of the hysteria that we're seeing now. In many cases, the articles talking about the problem don't even mention Barack Obama. The media clearly planned to disconnect Barack Obama from any negative news happening in his administration so that later they could claim it was squeaky clean and scandal free. I didn't see prominent Democrat members of Congress condemning the quote concentration camps and quote torture then. Again, President Trump has not built a single cage. The cages you see in the news and on Twitter were constructed by President Obama's administration. Let's look at some articles between 2013 and 2015 and see if Representative Jim Jordan is correct. The headline of the first article we have here is from NPR and it says surveillance stills from Border Patrol facilities show crowded, trash-filled cells. As part of a lawsuit against U.S. Customs and Border Protection, new images from surveillance video have been released to the public that show detained immigrants crowded into cramped concrete holding cells in Arizona. So there are a few things you might notice in this article right off the bat. No hyperbolic claims of concentration camps or brown shirt guards. You might have also noticed there's no mention of Barack Obama. This is odd considering he was the president and this is the result of his immigration policy. The article links to the author's Twitter so I decided to reach out and find out why she omitted Obama's name from this article. I asked, kind of strange that you write an entire story about these kids but don't mention Obama a single time. Why is that? Surprisingly, she responded with this completely ridiculous answer, saying, quote, the lawsuit I was reporting on at the time didn't name Obama, and to my knowledge, he didn't comment on it. Oh, so all Trump has to do to avoid being tied to his own immigration policy is just not to comment on it? This is the type of tactic that corrupt fake journalists use to protect Obama and Democrats from negative press. How about this article from the Washington Post? Central American migrants overwhelmed border patrol station in Texas. These are examples of the detention conditions captured on a surreptitious video obtained by the Washington Post that prompted President Obama to declare a, quote, humanitarian crisis this week. As illegal immigrants, including thousands of women and children, stream into South Texas, every day hundreds of Central American migrants in groups as large as 250 people are waiting across the muddy Rio Grande and turning themselves into the Border Patrol as helicopters and speedboats with mounted machine guns patrol the river. Speedboats with mounted machine guns? Surely the Democrats and their media were disgusted by this fascist show of force to these helpless immigrants, right? Wrong. It continues, Obama has pledged $2 billion to construct temporary housing and has ordered the Federal Emergency Management Agency to take charge. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? That appears to be at least part of the cages that were built by Obama, which Trump then inherited, and now the media claims are Trump's concentration camps with kids in cages. The article continues and portrays Obama as just some guy trying to deal with this overwhelming situation. Not the cause of it. 
Also notice that when Obama calls it a humanitarian crisis, the media goes along with it. But when Trump calls it a crisis... But locals will tell him on the border, even conservatives, is that there isn't a national security crisis. The notion that we have a crisis there, a security crisis, is absolute nonsense. This is a manufactured crisis and a crisis that uh, manufactured by the Trump administration. This uh, artificial crisis of the president isn't going to justify his... Uh, appropriating money for a wall that Congress is unwilling to give. Is there a crisis at the border? The president said there's a humanitarian crisis at the border. Is there? Absolutely not. More like the Democrats wanted to deny the crisis so that they could use the ensuing overcrowding and detain illegal immigrants as a weapon against Trump going into the 2020 election. The Democrats and their media aren't interested in fixing any of this. They love the division and they love having an issue that they can use against Trump heading up to the election. All we can do is continue to call them out on their double standards and hope that we convince enough people to just turn off their TVs and stop putting so much trust in these media organizations. That's all I got for you today. Please hit that like button and smash that bell notification like it's a fash. As you may know, my channel has been remonetized, but it's all just a cruel joke because they still demonetize everything I upload. If you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. Or you could just send me a quick donation over on PayPal. Either way, I really appreciate it and I won't let you down. Thank you.